Welcome back to the Map for College learning community. My name is Ernest Manelli, founder of My Action Plan for College. And this video will share ideas about pursuing locally sourced scholarship opportunities. So when I work with students from throughout the world, I oftentimes will ask them when we get to the scholarship topic, I will say, what are the primary institutions of your local area with which you have contact. And sometimes that might be town hall, sometimes that might be a chamber of commerce, might be a professional association, sometimes parent-teacher organizations. Like I know in my hometown of Hull, Massachusetts, we have a Hull Scholarship Fund. And if you have been a member of the PTO in particular, if you have been a participating member of the parent-teacher organization, then your son or daughter can apply for a certain scholarship, a whole PTO scholarship. We also have scholarship funds that are sponsored by various individuals and companies and nonprofit organizations from the local area. And we're just one small town. So when you consider the options for scholarships, yes, there are certain big name companies and organizations that sponsor scholarships. And if you wish to pursue those opportunities, more power to you. I just happen to think that there is more bang for your buck. There is more return on investment, more reciprocity that I've seen in terms of a success rate, and also a general level of satisfaction with lo looking locally toward locally sourced options. So I'll give you some tangible examples. Most every area has a chamber of commerce. Many chambers of commerce for local areas have scholarship opportunities for graduating seniors. You might have to check on the requirements because in some cases you might have to write a letter of interest, maybe include a student resume, write an essay, maybe even participate in an in-person interview. Sometimes that's the case. So you can find out from your Chamber of Commerce what opportunities might exist. Also, if you or your parents or any member of your family or let's say coaches or people in your network, let's say that you know someone from a professional association. So for example, there might be an association of carpenters and home builders. There might be an association of electricians and plumbers. There might be an association of accountants and financial planners. There might be an association of medical professionals, social workers, you know, architects. If you are pursuing or plan to pursue academic studies and a career pathway in a certain field of interest, you could tap into the prospect of some scholarship opportunities that are earmarked for people going into those fields, going into those professional associations. And so that's where you have the kitchen table discussion with your mom, your dad, your, you know, grandparents, whomever. And you just ask them, you know, does your place of employment or do your professional associations offer any scholarship opportunities? You might be pleasantly surprised at the fact that there might be more opportunities than you realized. So another option, whether you live in a small town or in a big city, if you have a town hall or a city hall, in many instances, there is usually a town manager. Sometimes there's a mayor, but many towns have a town manager or a town administrator, and many towns have a town clerk. So a town clerk, and or the secretary to the town manager and or the secretary to the mayor or the city council or the board of selectmen, whatever the case may be, if you can find out the people that have community contact and her in charge of customer service, you know, for the interaction with the public, if you can even make an in-person visit, make an appointment, place a phone call, send an email, However you feel comfortable approaching the situation, I would just get in contact proactively with that person who 
maybe the town clerk, maybe secretary of the town manager, and just say, do you happen to know of any local scholarship opportunities for high school students applying to college, or even for high school students just going directly into a career field? And again, the local word of mouth, the local quote unquote bulletin board, many opportunities are online for scholarship opportunities. But when you get to the local level, sometimes the people who are promoting scholarship opportunities and who are promoting philanthropic efforts, sometimes they might be of an age in which they themselves didn't grow up with technology as much of an integrated part of their lives. So in other words, if you have someone running a charity, running a nonprofit, running a 501c3, if you have someone like that who's community oriented and wants to give back to the community, let's say they're in their 50s or 60s, they might not have all of the information digitally online or through a website the way that someone maybe in their teens and 20s would anticipate. So you have to do due diligence in the online world and you have to do due diligence in the brick and mortar world. And even if you are just looking once a week and you create a file or a spreadsheet, just keep an ongoing document of which organizations sponsor which scholarships and what are the requirements, if any, to present information to apply. I'll give one more piece of information that's tangible for the purpose of students watching this video. Many times, high schools, whether they be private or public or parochial, many times schools will have a senior awards night or a senior dinner night or a senior celebration night. You can go into your guidance office and ask your guidance counselor or ask the secretary to the guidance office, do you have the program from last year's senior night or from maybe two years ago or whatever the case may be? And you can look oftentimes at the brochure and maybe on the back panel or on the inside fold of, you know, when you fold it out, oftentimes the scholarship opportunities are listed. Now, some of those scholarship opportunities may be designated by the high school. In other words, they may have been conferred by the English department or by the math department. So in some instances, you might get nominated. Great. But in other instances, you might see a local scholarship sponsored by a company or by a local philanthropic institution. Maybe it's through a family trust or a charitable endowment. And you may have never seen or heard of this option, but if you read the brochure from the most recent senior celebration or senior awards dinner from the year before, you might be able to find a diamond in the rough. You might be able to find something that may fall under the radar for most people, and then you could apply and take advantage of those opportunities. So my take-home message would be when looking for scholarship opportunities, sometimes the low-hanging fruit of opportunity exists through local community-based charities, nonprofits, business organizations, professional associations that can really help to give you a jump start on your college scholarship search because any scholarship opportunity represents an option for helping you to pay for your education. So once again, my name is Ernest Manelli. Please feel free to like this video and subscribe to our growing YouTube channel. Thank you so much.